All right, guys, so we have made it down more at Lowe's. Um, we are going to go get some of the first appliances for our tiny house. Well, I call it tiny house. Uh, Layton calls it tiny cabin, and Steph calls it shed or and tiny I, shed. I call it um, a barn. A barn, I yeah. I call it a barn. I call it a barn too. A barn but, too. I like that hat. Cause it looks like a barn. Cause the light you know what the, um, say? red. Yeah. You know what this say? What's that say? Pure now. What, what's it say all together? We don't talk about Bruno. We don't talk about Pruno. All right, guys, if you're new to the channel, my name's Brandon. This is my wife, Stephanie, and these are our four kids, Layton, Addison, Kaysen, and Braley. So we're going to go in here and try to get all the merchandise we can for the tiny cabin, get it started. We're going to do this on our own time. Um, so it's going to be a nice project. So let's get in here and see if we can start getting some of the wood that we need. We're going to try to get a lot of studs first and uh, some electrical stuff. So we'll see you inside. Uh, yes, go ahead and get one. Layton just woke up from a nap. We have to find some two before studs. And it looks like they have moved them since we used to buy them um for the wooden flags all right guys so it looks like we found the white wood these are selected studs they're 324 um that's pretty cheap compared to what we paid um for the last go around but um i think we may have some cheaper ones somewhere but um, i like okay. these and uh I think we'll get a few of these here. We want to make sure they're straight. Used to, we would have to worry about the designs, remember? Are we going to make kind of like the same exact wall from Layton's and then the laundry room? Except I want the door to the laundry room on the other side. and get his first. <laughs> We do have extras. I'm sure we'll we'll you, find somewhere to do with this special. No, I know what. I know what to do it for my house. Uh, for your house, you're yeah. gonna you're gonna make your house. No, you have to help me. Oh, okay. Well, see. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
is $31 compared to $40. So we're going to have to have several of these to complete the building, and among them is going to save a lot of money. But we're not going to get those these today because we got to form the walls and stuff. Um, as you see, where we started at over here is where the um, insulation is for the trailer. Um, we're going to go ahead and get some of the insulation, um, what we can afford. I think we can get all the insulation we need to go around the trailer and take care of that because it's supposed to get cold, 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 cold. Um, they say if you take a persimmon and pop it and if it forms a spoon means we're going to get a lot of snow or a bad winter. So I think what we're going to go with over here is um, I, I know a lot of people told us to go back and watch KNS, which we seen when KNS made their videos um, what they used. And um, this is pretty much the same stuff, but this is a little thicker. Um, this is probably a three quarter or one inch, and this is a three quarter. But um, you can see the price they were 26 and 17 dollars or 18 dollars, I think. I think the cheapest one down here is a quarter inch, and it's $10, but I think we're going to go with this uh, half inch here. It's uh, rounded off $14. Um, I think we'll get, I don't know, about six of them and see if that will get us around the cat, uh, the trailer. Um, it's going to be a little bit more than that, but we're going to go ahead and get the uh, trailer over here. Um, we got to try to keep everything warm underneath here. We've got a little fuel uh, heater we're going to put under there so it can stay warm as well um, but that's what we're going to do tonight and we're going to get some of this we're going to go look at the electric because obviously we got to put the electric and the water in first so those are the two things that we got to do and we're going to look at the insulation I did check into um, I miscalculated on the building I did check into getting that spray foam insulated and that's going to cost exactly two thousand dollars so I'm going to see how much it's going to cost to do the pink uh, panther stuff uh, just because maybe it's cheaper. If it's tr tremendously cheap, we'll probably end up doing that. And I know we're going with everything cheap right now, but uh, we just got so many things going. That's what we have to do for now. Uh, and the longer later on down the road, we can make an upgrade or something. But I think uh, we're going to go with the six of these. That says R30 on the paper, on that yellow thing there. That's R13. All right, that'll give us a rough estimate. We're just trying to get a ballpark on what we want to do. So we know that the insulation, spray foam insulation, we know that's going to be $2,000. We need to see the price on this and if it's going to be worth going through the itching and everything like that. So we're going to hold off on this and we're going to go take a look at the electric now. All right, guys, so we made it over here to the water. Um, man, was this complicated, but I think I found everything we need. Um, so this is going to go to the back of the camper. Um, at the very top, we're going to put a, this so we can run a hose. To the camper and then have water directly to the camper um, which we're going to go ahead and perch let me go ahead and grab this stuff before I... got, yeah. the, got the clamps to go um, around this uh, three quarter inch uh, this is what we're going to connect from the main water line to the uh, pecs to run to the trailer so hopefully this works and guys um, um, we might need this because um, you, um, they will go all the way to the camper. I yeah. need to get that out. So, here, can you do me a favor and hold this? Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. to. Can you hold this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Y
and you hold that up there and you hold this all right and this is the oh we're going to go with 300 foot any of the extra we can use inside the cabin but uh no you can't hold this okay but um i don't know if we run three three quarter inch inside the cabin what do y'all think should we go three quarter inch or go reduce it down to half um I like the three quarter inch out on the farm just because of the water pressure filling up the water and everything. So we're, this is what we're going to use out on the water in the camper because we can turn it on barely and it won't blow the line down. We can barely turn it on. So now we're going to go take a look at the electric. I don't know if we're going to get any of the electric right now. Uh, oh, we got to get the tape too for the um, insulation. So let's do that first. this for the siding this is for all weather um, so we'll, we can actually use a bunch of it it's $15 that's a pretty big rope so we're gonna put this up take a snap look at the electric just to see the ballpark that we're looking at and then we got to go we are out of time they're closing in 10 minutes all right so we found the electric um, this is what we used last go around and uh, it's about $150 for two, uh, 200 foot. But for now, this is gonna be all we're gonna get tonight. This will get us through the week. And then next week, we'll try to get a few more projects, or a few more items, and we'll just kinda, kinda go week by week, and then we'll eventually get there. But um, let, let us know on the panel and what you think uh, is the $10 difference with the thickness of the wood. So leave it in the description box. We're gonna go ahead and get everything and head out to the checkout. I got this. everything up and we will see y'all back at the farm you're hungry that's so, gonna break i know i just thought of that i would put two by fours down first well how are we going to keep it down put two by fours down oh, first okay. only half of them I and then you. i got you <laughs> I knew you needed me. Think about that. Those two before's are going to be way up there. Remember that night at the Lowe's parking lot? We're going back watching the videos. guys that's it so next stop is get something to eat and then we head back to the farm all right guys welcome back we are in our soon to be tiny house um excited that we got a bunch of wood 
Um, we're going to unload everything inside here, and then we're going to take the uh, Maurice and Williams truck back. But uh, yeah, so super excited. Using my, finally get to use my handy dandy O-Light lamp. Um, I've had that for a while. I've used it in other things, but I'll tell you, any lights you see out here on the farm, most likely they're O-Light. This is that super route one, but it hasn't been charged in almost two weeks now. But uh, I always leave a link in the description box. Everybody needs a good light. O-Light has so many lights, it's unreal. They have small ones for pockets and uh, to put on your keychains. But anyways, ladies room's gonna be over there. Laundry room's gonna be over there. So I'm gonna probably put everything over here on this side for now. put a line in here we went to Lowe's and got some plumbing supplies and stuff like that and um, we're just going to get a little bit of stuff as we go obviously we can't go get it all at once um, not not only is it way too expensive but we just don't have anywhere to store it right now to keep it out of the way I guess we could keep it in here but uh, we're just going to do a little by little but Anyways, what we're going to do tonight is go ahead and draw everything out with uh, some tape. We got some tape over here. And um, after that, we're still debating whether we want to do the insulation. Um, spray foam insulation, which I got a quote for 2000 and I got a quote for 2100 I believe it was. Or we can use the Peak Panther and um, I just don't like it. My body's allergic to it. But if we decide to go that route, we may do that. Um, we may go ahead and put the Pink Panther in the walls and then spray foam the top. Um, there's just several things that I'm thinking as, as we go. But um, a lot of this is we're going to be learning as we go, uh, go on this journey. So um, I know a lot of uh, a lot of people was worried about us uh, putting Leighton out here. Obviously, there's going to be fire detectors in here. Um, you know, we had some people just just outright hateful, um, which they're going to contact CPS and this and that. I guess they don't realize I'm in law enforcement. And before I've done anything, I've contacted the proper. Uh, people to make sure I'm within the guidelines and uh, as they say as long as long as you're you have protection as fire detectors or anything like that there is nothing wrong with him being right next door it, it's the same thing as just being in uh, a, another part of the house so uh, uh, just a lot of people with their hateful comments which I think is kind of crazy that there is so many people in this world that just I don't know what you call it sheltered. Uh, sheltered I guess but um and they haven't watched our channel for very long because we wouldn't put our kids in danger if you've watched our channel I mean our channel's not like any other channel it, we just film our day-to-day -day activities one comment was basically said something that um, we do nothing right um all of our stuff is disaster or something like that. You know, we need to be more like cog kill when they build stuff, you know, they get everything in. Well, here's the deal. Everybody's different. God made us all different. If we all thought the same, I mean, what the point is? We're, we're all different. This is the way I want to do it. And this is the way we're going to do it. If you don't like it, boot go on down the road because we want the people, our subscribers that we love and care for, we want them to be here and they shouldn't have to go through and see the comments like we do. But enough of that. We're going to go ahead and start drawing this out. For you, baby. Braided man, baby. <laughs> now, um, anyways, if you're new to the channel, be sure to like and subscribe. What we're doing now is laying out the bedrooms 
and where we're going to be putting things. So on the drawing, I have Layton's room about 10 foot. So I'm gonna see what it looks like now. Where's 10 foot at? 10 foot's right there, we'll get one that way. I would stay on that line. All right, so I got a little, I was off a little bit on the measurements. I had it as 10 foot, 10 foot to put me here. Um, and I'm wanting to put the, the refrigerator and freezer here, right? Yeah. So we could make it 90, go ahead and make it eight foot. That makes eight foot. Oh. We'll go ahead and make it eight foot. Hopefully this tape goes down good. Oh, it ain't sticking at all, is it? With the thing. Okay. Hey, make eight foot down here. I need eight, eight foot down right here. In the middle. Same size as the bedroom, eight foot. We should have measured the washer and dryer because all we need is. Yeah, I'm. I'm that's eight. That's like. Because I'm thinking. Washer and dryer. See, the washer is probably about right here. Yeah. Is I'd say two and a half feet. So maybe only I'd probably do six foot. Then right there at the edge. We're going to do 78. Go ahead and walk on it. Yeah, go ahead and walk on it. Don't slide your feet though. That'll be kind of perfect, and then I can put a sh shelf for whatever right there, or a basket. I was thinking shelf for all my laundry detergent and stuff.
so we got everything pretty much laid out the way we want it right now because we've already changed it since the blueprints um, and we'll probably change it again but for now uh, we've got this here over over in the back corner is going to be where the washer and dryer goes um, there's going to be a folding table right over here for Steph um, we are putting we ran out of tape but we are putting a counter right here so we can put a sink and um, cabinets and stuff right here so we can put a few dishes um, that way we can do all the cooking in here and if we had to um, I think there might be room we can make room to put a stove but um, so we're going to do that for right now we got the actual except uh, turn the camera or the uh, my right here on the outside we have the uh, the ice box in the freezer this we've changed to the door to Layton's room and that's Layton's room and the uh, reason why we got this is the door is it's close to the door if he was to need to get out for any reason and um, he's got the window here so we can communicate um, if we need to, I mean, literally, the camper's just right there. And we talked about getting like walkie-talkies or something too, just to actually get the night owl cams, just yeah. to put cameras in here, um, just for safety reasons. But um, you know, we're going to take all the right precautions. But um, you know, we've already checked with everybody. Everything we're doing is legal. So um, the people that are sheltered. I, I don't know what to tell you. I, I, I really don't. He's mature. He he does more out here than a lot of kids his age could do. Um, it's just the way we've raised them. We taught them how to do everything. They've always been interested in doing um, everything we do and learning. So for now, the tiny home is this is what we're going to go with. So um, I don't know if we'll start working in it tonight. If not, we'll start tomorrow. I know I've got some rock to haul in. i got quite a bit of stuff to do, but um, we're just going to try to get as much of the materials as we can, and then we can get started really good. So, um, Layton's got wrestling practice, so I guess we're going to call it early night. It's already dark outside. So, anyways, y'all have a good night.